Hello everybody, in this video I am taking part in a YouTube hop for Junk Journal January, organised by the lovely lovely Meg Journals, very similar to Junk Journal July, just much colder. There is a list of journaling prompts that Meg has created, which you can find on Instagram, there's also a link to it in the description of this video, and I'll have it at the end of the video if you want to screenshot it as well. So there's the prompt list for every day in January. I will say, I think this is the best one that Meg has done so far, this list. I found it the most inspiring one so far. I just, I think it's, I think it's brilliant. But as well as the list, today on the 1st of January, there is a playlist of all these wonderful YouTubers, plus me making videos where we are sharing our favourite tips and techniques and tricks and stuff for junk journaling. And then hopefully all the videos will kind of like help get you started, for if you want to join in with the prompt list or even if you don't like just help give you some inspiration I don't know about you but I find new year is the time of year I struggle the most creatively you know the festive season is over it's kind of look January cold new year just yeah I struggle the most creatively at the start of the year so hopefully all these videos will help inspire you and also help inspire me because I'm gonna need it so the playlist with all those videos will be linked in the description as well as the link to the prompt list I mentioned and let's talk about what I'm gonna do in this video so my tip trick technique whatever you want to call it for this video I wanted to play around with what I call layered journaling so adding journaling to different layers of your page also adding hidden journaling as well and I'm most Mostly using vellum to do this because I feel like it's a material that everybody really loves but doesn't always necessarily know how to use it or how to add it in their journal and yeah I just love it so that's what we're gonna do this first page is sort of the simplest technique and way that I do this it often happens accidentally where I create a page usually with lots of collage and stuff and then I look at it thinking where am I going to add the journaling? I don't want to cover anything up. I really like how I've done the page. Where am I going to add any words? And I am one of those people who says, you know, you don't have to add journaling. You know, it's it's not a rule, but I like to add journaling. So what I do is I just add vellum over the top so you can still see the thing you've created underneath, but you've still got somewhere to add your journaling. On that page, by the way, I was playing with a new sticker book I received from a lovely friend, um, the Birds bees and butterflies sticker anthology similar to the antiquarian sticker book that we all know and love similar kind of thing and also some various scraps I had lying around um what I did once I had everything stuck down is I took a stabilo woody pencil a brown one and kind of just went around the edges of things and activated it with an, a water brush just so it helps stand out a little bit more underneath that vellum. I'm using plain vellum for this one. It's quite a thick one. I think it's 110 GSM. And here I am adding my journaling to the top of that. Now vellum can be a bit funny about what pen you use. I'm using a Pigma Micron pen here. I find that the best. It doesn't tend to like fountain pens. If you use a ballpoint or a biro type pen, that can smudge quite easily. So rollables and Pigma Microns, things like that, I find are the best personally. I'm adding a couple of little flowery rub-on transfer stickers to the top of the vellum as well just to add a little something pretty to it and then once I am happy with that I will staple it onto the page. On this one I'm going to staple it to the top of the page. I always make sure if you've done something on the other side of the page make sure it's okay to put staples in that place because you don't want to like, if you've done something in an envelope or a pocket, you don't want to accidentally like staple something down that's meant to flip out or pull out or something. Because yes, I've done that before. So yeah, always check the other side of the page. But then the way I I'd stapled it down, it was kind of flapping up in an annoying way. So I thought I'd add something to help keep it down on the page. So I've just taken this stamp, which is like a bulldog clip stamp, stamped it. The color is just not, just not distress. What is it? Archival ink in sepia. Fussy cut that. So I've got a little fake clip kind of thing. Just added some double sided tape to the bottom of it. And I'm going to stick it down like so that keeps the vellum down and stop it from flapping around but it's easy to pull up and look underneath if you want to like so so that's the really the simplest way of doing that but I think it's a really nice effective technique I love being able to see the collage underneath your writing I think it looks gorgeous and yeah that's the first page this second page I'm going to work on is going to have three 
layers of journaling to it. Uh, first, I had that page, I think it's from like a medical anatomy textbook sort of thing. Um, it's kind of a weird image. I kind of like weird, but I didn't want it to be too in your face. So I'm covering it up with a layer of paint. This is Dina Wakely paint in turquoise, I think. Drying that off, I have that lovely cutout flower thing. I've no idea where it's from. My mum found a load of postcards and gave them to me and that bit of cut out flowers was just in it and I was like well that's perfect junk journal fodder. With the paint dry I'm taking Posca paint pens and adding little doodles on top of that very art journal style little circles, hearts, crosses, X's, that sort of thing. And then I will take a white Posca paint pen and add really really messy illegible journaling. It's a quite a common art journaling technique but I find it's just you are journaling, you are writing down thoughts, but you're doing it in such a messy way that the writing isn't really readable. And I find it really helpful for sometimes you want to write things that you need to get out of your head, down onto the brain, but you don't really want to necessarily read them a few months later. Because I don't know about you, but sometimes when I have a rant on a page and then I read it three months later, I'm like, oh, this is so cringe. So I do it like this, so I have the catharsis of writing it down, but then when I go back to it, I'm like, I have no idea what that says, and I don't actually care, but I have that emotional release, if you like, of writing it down. And you might be able to pick up a word here or there, but generally it just looks like squiggles. So yeah, some of you might find that ridiculous, might not see the point of doing it, and I totally understand that, but I, 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 I find it helpful anyway. So for the second layer of journaling, I'm gonna add it behind that little, flower thing that I added. I'm going to make that into a pocket. I just went round the edges of it with Distress Oxide in Salvage Patina to match the turquoise of paint I'd put in the background. I was just going to have it stuck down on one side, but then I thought actually the journaling I add is going to slip out. So I added some tape to the bottom so it make more of a pocket than a tuck spot as it were. And here I'm using some onion skin paper. So it's not as translucent as vellum is. It's and it's far more fountain pen friendly, so I like it for that reason. So you can still see through it, just not quite as much as you would do with vellum, but you can very much see that there is something underneath there to look at. So on this layer, I'm gonna add some journaling that is like personal, but not too personal. I still wanna be able to read it someday, and I'm not embarrassed about it or anything like that. So I'm adding that, putting it in the little pocket. And then over the top of that, I'm gonna add some patterned vellum. Now this patterned vellum, I think I printed this one off at home. Do you remember at the beginning of 2020 when everything went wrong, a lot of craft places offered like lots of freebie printables and stuff and I think that's where I got those patterns from. I think they were a Kayser Craft freebie and I just printed them out in vellum because I thought they looked pretty. So I'm going to add that because I think the pattern vellum would look prettier on top of everything. I'm adding some stickers from my own personal stash and then adding a quote to the top of that using a Tombow. I can never say this word correctly. It's Fude, Fudinesca, something like that. I'll put a link in the description box. One of those pens so you can do really nice lettering with it. And I added a quote by, I think it's Wordsworth. It says, uh, fill your paper with the breathings or beatings of your heart. Something along those lines. Like you may say, think it's a quote, it's not really journaling, but to me it is. So that's the top layer that's gonna go on top of that. So it's like underneath that layer is some slightly personal journaling. And then underneath that is completely illegible, but very personal journey journaling. So I stapled that piece of vellum at the bottom this time. It just worked better for the general layout of that page and where I have placed the pocket and things. Onion skin paper, by the way, in case you're wondering like what it is, where it comes from. It's not made out of onions. It's called onion skin because it kind of feels like onion skin. Um, the paper I used there, I bought it in some notebooks from a Crafty Alley Cat, I think, on Etsy. I also have a The Onion Skin journal made by Remy Road, which is in the States. And they are slightly different types of onion skin paper, but yeah, I have to pull out other notebooks because I don't know where to get loose leaf at this time. But in case you're wondering, that's what it is. That's where you can get it from. Here I am going to work on a double page spread. Uh, what I wanted to do is, again, add layered vellum and things. Um, but because one side was completely white paper, I decided to cover up most of it with that super, super wide washi and then fill in that awkward white gap with this paint again it's Dina Wakely I think it's in the color olive and also bring that color onto the other page as well just to sort of blend the pages in together dried that off 
And then I really wanted to bring in that coloured patterned vellum because it's so, so pretty with the roses on. Um, it didn't work on top of that washi tape and the colour quite, that wasn't right at all, but I am going to bring it in a little bit later on. That piece of vellum I'm going to staple at the top and the bottom and have it kind of like a, as a slip-in tuck pocket. And that envelope there, you may have seen a few minutes ago, I was going through a load of envelopes. That is made from Edith Holden paper from the Country Diary book and I'm going to use that envelope. You saw me kind of playing around with how to put it underneath the vellum and I figured out that putting it in at the centre of the pages and having the envelope flap hold it there was the best way of doing it and it's also kind of more secure that way so I can add some really really private personal journaling into that envelope but I'm also going to add some journaling on the other side as well finally brought in the beautiful patterned coloured vellum and just ripped it in a way that it made a little tuck spot I wasn't able to staple that piece down because I looked at the other side of the paper and I I for various reasons I couldn't add staples there so I'm using red line tape there you can kind of see it underneath the vellum but it's not really really obvious it's not like normal double-sided tape or something like that it kind of blends in you can only see it if you're looking for it kind of thing with some more onion skin paper I did some more journaling that's going to go in that little tuck spot but just to make the page a little bit more my own and bringing in some more rub on transfer stickers and adding the, those in the spaces that were left on the page there weren't really very many spaces I'm not going to add loads to that page because the beautiful botanical drawing in the background is quite enough I felt but I really like the whole layered effect of onion skin under the vellum pocket you can see the botanical drawing underneath and I also added a sticker to the top of the little tuck spot as well, just because I thought it looked pretty. I'm going to add some more of that lettering with the Tombow pen on the top of the other piece of vellum. It carries on from what is written on the onion skin paper. I just, I really love the way that looks. And also because it's quite large and bold writing, it doesn't get lost on the patterned vellum. I think if you were to use like a, a rollerball or a micron or something and just do normal size journaling it would get very very much lost on the patterned vellum which might be something you want it's an idea um of a way of doing journaling that you can kind of see but can't really read but for if you really want it to show use a bold pen i'm adding stickers there which are from my stash well from my stash i mean completely stolen from my shops stock that I put in my junk journal kits but anyway my stash I wanted to um, layer those stickers together so I had to take the backing off the stickers at the same time layer them in the way I wanted to you can see some of the flowers coming over the guy's shoulder and then stick them down together I added a book spine sticker which I think is really pretty and there what I was doing with that butterfly sticker um, was sometimes you really struggle getting the backing of sticker flakes so I get a pin and kind of push the backing off just in case you wonder why I was waving a, a sharp little pin around and then I'm not going to add the journaling here I've just cut the paper or ripped the paper down to size to put in that envelope and I'm going to add the journaling to that later on because as I said it's going to be some really private personal journaling that's really well hidden sort of thing so I didn't want to do that on screen but it's all ready for me to go and I think yeah that's gonna be it so I'm just finishing off showing you the pages here I really really hope you like them I hope you like the ideas they could maybe they've given you some inspiration or something I just love using translucent things and vellum and onion skin paper and they just they bring me so much joy anyway that's going to be it. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to check out the prompt list and of course all the other videos in the playlist. And if you've come to my video from one of those videos, say hi to me in the comments. Uh, any other relevant links, products and stuff that I've used will be in the description box. And a big, big thank you to Meg for inviting me to take part again. And yeah, that's going to be it from me. Chat to me in the comments. Remember to thumbs up this video and I'm going to go. Thank you again. Bye bye.